could be, it could be close. Yeah, it's gone. So Butler's gone. Second ball, just playing across the line to hear strikes. Warwickshire knew that they couldn't keep their leg spinner out of the action for too long, and he struck. Yeah, he's come into the attack at a timely time. He's walked off here. Josh Butler has walked off as soon as it hits him. Nice loopy leg spinner that goes straight on. Good young lad would have had uh, lots of dreams about this, but that's ended. Joss Butler trudged off. He's got two wickets now, Imran Tahir. Yeah. Another wicket for Tahir. Somerset imploding here. Sapaya goes cheaply now for just a single. And having been 176 for three, Somerset now 178 for six. Sapaya trying to use his feet early, and the drift has just done him. Watch the way the ball drifts and gets too close to him and underneath him. And that's classic leg spinning, turning the ball, getting it to drift, and Sapaya got too close to it. Now the Somerset batsman goes for one. It's 178 for six. Well, that's a better delivery, surely. It's that good, in fact. Tahir's off celebrating. This may be his uh, last match for Warwickshire, but he's making it a memorable one. He's taking a big claim for the Man of the Match award here. And it's not uh, the tail ender that goes. It's uh, Nick Compton. He's LBW now for 60. The slump continues, 179 for seven. Well, there was an early celebration from Ty. It was the flipper out the front of the hand, a lot quicker. If there's no inside edge, that's out. Clipping the bales, deceived by the flipper. Delivery that looks to be short, appears to be short, but just skids on. And Tahir had to wait for the decision, but he was off celebrating. 175 for three has become 179 for seven. Compton's gone for a well-made 60. Somerset in all sorts of bother. Gone as well. Ian Bell takes a comfortable catch. A very, very tentative drive from uh, Ben Phillips. He's the latest casualty. Wickets are tumbling here. Tahir has four for 33. And poor old Somerset. Are they going to be bridesmaids again? 180 for eight. What a collapse. Straight to Ian Bell. He had one man to find. Bell's not dropping that. Great technique. Watches it straight into his hands. Tahir's off again in the background. Phillips is off. <laughs> well, it may well be a signal wide eventually. Oh, but you can be stumped off a wide, indeed. Uh, Richard, Ket Richard Kettleborough signals the wide, and uh, Peter Hartley at the other end is calling for the opinion of Tim Robinson here. Foot off the ground? I think it might be. I think that's an outstanding bit of wicket-keeping. Lifts his foot. I don't think he's got it down. I think the bales are off. I think his foot's just up in the air. Difficult to tell, but that is... Brilliant work from the keeper. Oh, gone, I think. Foot up in the air. It was another flipper. So even harder for the keeper. I reckon he's got five wickets here. Terrific work by Richard Johnson, another local product for Warwickshire. Former Solihull schoolboy. Hey. Tim Robinson having a long, hard look at this. Only a stud's got to be uh, touching the ground. But is it going to be a five-wicket haul for Imran Tahir? It is indeed. A spinner taking uh, five wickets in a Lord's yeah. final. Almost unheard of. In his final appearance for the county, Tahir's figures, five for 36. Kartik Stump Johnson bowled Tahir for three, 187 for nine. Great scenes here at Lords. Look what it means to him. Look what it means to him. The Lords final. It might not be 50 overs, it's 40, but it still means a lot. Another flipper out the front of the hand. And great work. That is a superb.
superb take from Johnson. Yes, he should celebrate, but he should uh, pat his keeper on the back as well. Fine combination. Kartik's gone well stumped for three. It's 187 for nine. 199 all out. 200 for Warwickshire to lift the CB trophy. Bad week for Somerset. Just got a little bit worse. They've got an opportunity. They've got 199. But at one stage, it looked like it was going to be 260, 270 until that man changed ends. Imran Tahir went up to the pavilion end. He propelled that little white thing, he got five wickets, and Somerset collapsed in a heap. Second spinner ever to get five wickets in a Lord's final. Raymond Illingworth, the last one, Imran Tahir. Five wickets on this occasion. Outstanding bowling performance, what a collapse from Somerset.